Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will just share you with a video in which you can just send the messages from Google Sheet directly to the WhatsApp. You don't need any kind of add-on in this and you will be able to send dynamic as well as static messages from Google Sheet directly to the WhatsApp. So first, what you have to do, you just see this video from beginning to end to get the clear idea. So in that case, first, what we have to do, we have to select the Google Sheet with the correct account. So just enter your account and then in that you can just make a Google Sheet like this. So I have entered some names over here. You can just keep on entering the names, whatever you want. Then you want to select the date. Why date is important? Suppose if it, now it comes to your objective okay, for which type of the messages you are sending to the clients. Suppose if you want to send a reminder message, so you will select the date, okay, so this date you have to pay this kind of money. Or maybe you are just as a teacher, so in that case you have to just tell to the parents that okay, this day the student was absent. It depends upon completely your objective. I will just tell you the way how we can do this. So you have to select the dates. So while selecting the date, it is better if I get a calendar over here. So I want a calendar over here in this column. So what I will do, I will just select any one of the cell. And in data, I will just go to the data validation. So once I go to the data validation over here from list of the range, instead of that, I will just select date and I will save it. So you can see over here now nothing is there, but if I double click this, I will get a calendar over here. So you can select any date, whatever you want. Okay, so I will just drag this. Okay, and now you can see that okay, all the way the formula has been applied. Okay, the data validation. So you can see that in every uh, thing, you will see a calendar like this. Okay, now you have to write down the date in text because if you're going to send the messages, including the date, the date should be in the text. So how we can convert any number into text, it is very simple. You have to just press equal to to text. Okay, you can see over here to text. What you want to convert the text, you have to convert the date into the text. So suppose I will just select over here P2. I will close the bracket and enter it. Okay, I will just drag this formula till end, uh, till whatever my names are there. So now you can see over here, suppose if I select 20th July, you can see that okay, the date has been written two times. One is in the date uh, calendar format and one is in the text format. So we will send this to our clients. If you want, you can change the format of this also by clicking on format and the numbers, you can just click the, you can change the style of the dates also, whatever you want, okay. So in that case, you can do like this. You can include even the time also, <coughs> sorry. So now, two things I have told you, okay, how you can select from the calendars and how you can convert the date into text. Okay. Now, obviously we have to, this is a subject of the message. Okay. What should be your, the subject of the message? Okay. So suppose if I want to tell like that, okay, your student was absent in some of the class. Suppose he was absent in mathematics or something like that. <coughs> so in that case, what you can do, you can enter the subjects over here. So it will be very easy for me to select the subjects. So what I will go, I will go to the data in that data validation and in that Instead of list of range, I will select list of items. So I will just write down some items, for example, physics, comma, uh, mathematics, and keep on entering the subjects, whatever we want. This is only one time process. Okay, so I will just press on save. So now you can see there is a small arrow over here and I can select the subjects. Okay, whatever the subject is there. And I will drag this formula till end. Okay, so this is, that means I will just show you at the end how message will be given to the numbers. So now we have to enter the message. So in entering the message, we can keep a dynamic static message. That means we can just write down the message normally. Also, if we want to click, we have to just write down. We can write down like this also. No problem. We can write down with the pen's mouse also. And then we can send it. We can do like that is known as a dynamic message in which you have to type the message and then you want to send it to the customer. Or otherwise, you can select the format also of the message, which will be applied everywhere. For an example, if I just uh, show you how messages i will just show you the formula okay, how we can send a message to each and every parent so that format remains the same so i will show you this this is the message format that i'm going to send to each and every parent so let us see okay will this format work or not okay and what is the formula i will explain you everything so i will just copy this formula i will just share you in the description box also and i will just paste it over here now first of all what is this if in the bracket is blank is blank means okay, suppose if the uh, date is blank so then in that case, I don't want to send the messages. Or you can keep any one column as is blank. So that means what happens, okay, compulsory, you have to enter the date or something so that the message could be sent. The, it should be not a blank message, okay. So that is the reason what I'm doing. Okay, if this is blank, that is if uh, B2, if B2 is blank, then you can send nothing. That means double inverted comma started and ended, but nothing. Now, if it is not blank in that case, you can enter this message double inverted comma, respected parent, your child 
which child for that you have to enter okay so double inverted comma and and then which child the name of the child so i will just press this one that is a2 okay a2 double inverted comma and a2 and double inverted comma so the child name will be coming over here was absent on which uh, obviously which class okay so which class he was absent uh, which date he was absent i'm sorry which date so obviously star star is for that in whatsapp it will be coming in bold so therefore star double inverted comma and what should come in between obviously the date which is in the text so i will just select this one that is c2 okay star over in which subject in star double inverted comma and and in between which subject he was absent in, in this subject that is in d2 okay the message is over i will just click on enter okay now you can see that sir why here uh, nothing has been shown because obviously i have not selected any of the subject so if i select the subject here even the subject will be shown okay respected parent your child rakesh was absent on 20th of july in physics okay suppose if i just enter the date over here suppose uh, 19th of july and i will just enter uh, the subject okay i have not drag the formula i'm sorry i will first drag the formula till wherever i want i will drag the formula okay now i will select the subject also maybe mathematics so you can see that respected parent your child this was absent on this date in mathematics okay if you want if you just suppose you delete the dates even the message will get deleted sir why because i have kept a blank of is blank okay so please take care in that case so first we will select the date okay then we'll select the subject also you can do it in your own way okay so in short either you can make a dynamic message uh, like this okay or you can make a static message as also now obviously you are going to enter the phone number which is required so that uh, you can send the message in whatsapp so you will enter their whatsapp number so i am just entering a whatsapp number so i enter a whatsapp number similarly i will enter the whatsapp number for other all also so you will just enter the whatsapp number nothing else so just i enter the whatsapp number in everyone now here i want the link for clicking so if i click then i will be directly able to send the messages in the whatsapp so i want a link for that so for that also we have a formula you have to just uh, i will just give you this formula in the description box also but i will just explain you this formula so this is known as hyperlink formula i will just copy this formula and then i will just paste it over here in that this one so i will just click right now it is showing error because i have not given any link to that okay so hyperlink first you have to enter the whatsapp link whatever is the whatsapp link so https api whatsapp.com send phone now where do you want to send to encode url 91 that means 91 is a code for india you can enter your own code okay and the number okay so where is the number the number is over here you can see that the number is over here okay f2 to where till f if you want you can just give it till f okay so the full column has been selected and text okay text is equal to what so in text so in that case you have to enter this okay i'm sorry you have to enter the phone number over here just so i will just delete this first of all and over here i will enter 91 and then the phone number so i will just select from f2 to so obviously where to till f so that the things are been selected okay so therefore this is the phone number that it will be selected 91 and then the phone number and obviously the text okay so text is equal to what encode url here you have to select your text from where you want to select so obviously i want to select from e3 this text is to be sent till where e2 to tell e okay and then obviously i will click uh, i will just write down here send so that means here a hyperlink of send will be shown okay the so same i will drag till end okay so same so this formula will be available to you just you just take care ke what kind of columns you will select so first of all this all things will remain same encode url 91 that means your country code and from where to where from f2 that means your numbers so in which place you have saved your numbers from f2 to f uh, that means the whole column of f will be selected and which text encode url e2 to e that means this is your text that you have enter okay so this will be now send button will be there okay so in that case let me check whether i can do it or not so i will just click on send button and in that there is a option of the whatsapp one so i will just click on that so as you can see now i will just go to the chat if you are using phone it will be directly sent this is only for the desktop version that's why we have to just use web box web whatsapp 
and then you can see that okay, that message will be already pasted in the whatsapp for that number and then i can just click on send in that case i can able to just send the messages very easily so now you can say i can just click on this send button and then you can see that okay, there is a message sent to the person itself i will show you one more time okay suppose if i just select the date over here for suresh i will just select 21 date he was absent in uh, mathematics so that it will be written respected parent your child suresh was absent on this and then i will just click on the send button i will just click you can do it in your mobile also it will be very much easy to do it with mobile okay you can just go it go to chat in mobile so when you click it automatically it will be sent there is no need to worry about it because as it is a web whatsapp you have to be careful in that case otherwise you can send directly without any hesitation so see you can see that i have sent it your child suresh was absent on 21st july in mathematics so this way you can send it without any add ons required you have to just do the things properly write down the formulas properly which i will provide in description box and then you can send it very easily using phone also you can just uh, convert this into pdf then also the link will be there only and the pdf you can keep it in phone and you can just click on send button that can be also possible you can just download over here in the form of pdf so this is the way you can send the whatsapp message from your phone without any add ons thank you and please subscribe and share my channel